Toy. Okay. This is um, another drug, which is the uh, urinary antiseptic. This drug, um, it comes or it has a presentation of um, 500 milligrams and uh, 100 milligrams as a tablet. When it is a suspension, it comes as um, 25 milligrams per 5 mil. This drug, um, it is bacteriostatic and it inhibits bacterial enzyme system that are essential for the, uh, bacterial infections. It is active mostly against um, bacteria which cause urinary tract infections except infections such as the pseudonomus aeruginosa. The indication for this drug is that it is indicated in the urinary tract infections which um, which is due to susceptible uh, E. coli which is known as the Escherichia coli um, and in uh, certain strains of uh, the Electrobacter uh, microorganisms. The dosage that we give for the nitrofuran tone is um, when we are giving it to adults and for children who are over two years, we give uh, a dosage of um, 50 milligrams to 100 milligrams per oral four times in a day with meals. And then for children who are aged one month to 12 years, we give five to seven milligrams per kg body weight. Of course, we give it through the mouth and it is four times a day. So what this means is that um, if a child weighs, uh, let's say, 10 kg, since we are giving it per kg body weight, we are giving, let's say, five milligrams, that means we'll be giving 50 uh, milligrams okay now this drug can also be given in um, people of chronic infections or it can be given as a recurrent uh, dose that dose that is given is um, 100 milligrams uh, four times in a day that is QID it can also be given as a prophylaxis of um, 50 milligrams of 50 milligrams to 100 milligrams at night and when you're giving it as a prophylaxis in children you give one milligrams per kg body weight so the same mathematics uh, applies if a child weighs 5 kg and you're giving one milligram per kg body weight meaning you're going to give five milligrams okay now this drug like any other drugs are the side defects one of the side defects is uh, nausea vomiting anorexia diarrhea abdominal pain articaria so now articaria this is simply uh, itchy rash that appears on the skin that is articaria and then another side defect that it can bring about is a uh, systemic lupus erythromatosis Systemic lupus erythromatosus. Now, this systemic lupus erythromatosus is um, an autoimmune disease in which the immune system attacks its own tissues. And as a result, it causes a widespread inflammation and, the, and tissue damage in the affected organs. It can also affect, of course, the joints, the skin, the brain, the lungs, the kidneys, and the blood vessels. So that is the systemic lupus erythromatosus. That is the side effect of this drug known as the nitrofurantoin. Another thing that you can expect as a side effect is uh, hypersensitivity reactions. Now, with high doses, that is if you give this uh, nitrofurantoin uh, in high doses, one of the side effects that you are going to see is... Um, polyneuropathy polyneuropathy 
But in neuropathy, we are just saying this is a simultaneous uh, malfunction of many peripheral nerves throughout the body. And of course, it can be uh, as a result of, um, of drugs. It can be as a result of drugs. That is um, polyneuropathy. Another side effects that you can notice is uh, drowsiness, dizziness, headache, and so on. So those are the side effects that you can notice with a high dose of such a drug. Now, this drug is contraindicated in infants, of course, that is a baby with one month and below. With man, one month and below. Now you can give uh, it can this drug you can give it um, in moderate to severe renal impairment or it, sorry it is contraindicated in moderate to severe renal impairment. It is also contraindicated in pregnancy at term, meaning that pregnancy that is between that eight weeks and forty two weeks, and it is also it is also contraindicated. Uh, during labor and uh, delivery. Now let's look at the nursing implications of this drug. The nursing implications of this drug. Now remember we said this drug when you're giving it, you give it with food. Therefore our nursing implication could be that uh, or can be uh, is that you should be you should encourage the patient to take the medicine with food so that it minimizes or so that you minimize the stomach upset at the same time you need to monitor the intake and output so that um, you do not give in a renal patients due to the cumulative effect so when you give this drug monitor the intake and output and do not give in uh, renal patients due to the cumulative effects another thing that you need uh, to put under the under the nursing implication is that you need to warn the patients that the color of urine is likely to change of course from um, uh, is likely to change from the normal one that we know uh, to yellowish brown it's going to change from the normal color to yellowish brown so those are the nursing complete uh, the nursing implications now under the urinary antiseptics apart from these two drugs that we've looked at we need the uh, dixic acid and the nitrofurantoin drugs we also have uh, drugs like uh, amoxicillin, which we can give. This drug, uh, the amoxicillin, it works, of course, by inhibiting the bacterial cell wall synthesis during the bacterial multiplication. Okay. So one of the drugs, other drugs that you can give, apart from the two that we've mentioned, is amoxicillin. And we know that amoxicillin inhibits the bacterial cell wall synthesis during the bacteria uh, multiplication. So amoxicillin is um, indicated in uh, systemic infections, in acute and um, chronic urinary tract infections due to the susceptible strains of uh, gram-positive and gram-negative organisms. A dosage that you can give of amoxicillin, especially in adults and uh, children who are weighing um, 20 kg or above, you give uh, a dosage of 250 milligrams to 500 milligrams per oral, and you give this drug eight hours. Now, in children weighing less than uh, 20 kg, you give 20 milligrams per kg the oral and you give it daily in divided doses of eight hourly the side effects of amoxicillin are, are nausea vomiting anorexia confusion stomatitis abdominal pains anemia 
and it is contraindicated in patients with hypersensitivity to drugs and other penicillins. Now, the nursing implications that you can um, look at under amoxicillin is that before giving this amoxicillin drug, you need to ask the patient about their allergic reactions to penicillin. Because a negative um, allergic history, one thing that you need to know is that a negative allergic history is no guarantee uh, against an allergic reaction. Meaning, even if the patient tells you to say they've never had an allergic reaction, that doesn't guarantee that they won't or they cannot develop an allergic reaction to amoxicillin. Then you need to use caution or you need to use this amoxicillin drug consciously in uh, patients with other drug allergies. Then you need to observe the patient closely for side defects, especially on large doses and prolonged ther uh, therapy. Okay. Again, you need to tell the patient, this is, we're still talking about the nursing implication, you need to tell the patient to report any rash of fever to the doctor. Especially rash, because rash is a common symptom that comes out with um, this drug. And then you need to instruct the patient to take drugs with food to minimize the allergies. So now, remember we said under the drugs acting on the urinary system, we started with the urinary antiseptic. That means we are done with our first objective.